everyone. This is Vipe from The Gamer Show, or you just call me Mike, and this is part two. And right across from us is... Another old gamer. That's right. Hello there. So right now we're doing part two, right? Part two? That's right. Yeah. We'll and, soon uh, be forgetting the episode numbers, but two's pretty easy. Yeah. So I believe uh, where we last left off, we're going to be um, doing a little bit more advanced stuff. I think More advanced to... than cobblestone houses. That's right, because this cobblestone oh. house rocks. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so What's first? Um, we need to make some bat boxes. So what we're going to do, let's do uh, bat box. Uh, click on the recipe. All right, so we need some teak wood. We're going to need some batteries. Copper cable. Yeah, copper we've, cable is going to be a big one. We've got a little bit of copper. Okay. Um, what's involved in those batteries? Oh, the batteries. Those are good ones. That is tin, tin and redstone. So we've. So I guess one of us has got to find rubber, and one of us has got to go deep. I think. Okay. To get the redstone. So I'll, um, I'll head off and try and find some rubber trees. Okay, and I will go down to get some tin and redstone. And dun, dun, while dun. I'm out there, I'll try to murder a sheep, and then we've got two beds. Bah. So I guess the question is, is do we have any coal? Uh, yeah, I've taken it all with me. Okay. <laughs> do you want some? Yeah, because I need some torches. Nipper. Yeah. Let's get rid of these wood pieces here. Um, we'll keep here, get some weapons, because we always need weapons. There we go. Right, so... Coal. Over uh, here. There we go. That's half of what I've got. Cool, that's perfect. That should give me just enough to go into the depths of the dungeons. Right. Oh. Anywhere in particular that I should look for rubber, do you think? Um, biomes. Rubber trees. Yeah. What, what? The best thing to do, because we want to bring the rubber trees to us, um, get rubber first and then try to take down a tree so we can get the saplings. And then we can bring them over to us so we can always mine from them. Right. Oh, there's some pumpkins. I'll put these up along the way. And I believe there's another way of getting rubber, I think. And the last time I played, there was two types of rubber tree. And you could use either, I think. Gotcha. Um, not sure what version it was. Um, I'm going to create another uh, crafting table here. Wow, there are some big trees first. over this way. I'm going to create my first crafting table. There we go. Let's just slaughter these chickens. There we go. Oh, I thought I made and that. There's a lot of mobs out here. Beautiful. That looks great. And my OCD's kicking in again. I better get out of here. <laughs> Alright, and we got some... Uh, almost got some torches here real quick. Da, 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 da. Right, there's no sheep, but there's plenty of spiders, so I think we just need one more. There we go. Cool. Die chickens. No sign of rubber. Now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh what just happened? I like spiders. Yeah, that's right. I don't like spiders or scorpions. Things are terrible. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys are watching this stream right now, but I am going in the depths of hell, and we are professionals, so never try <laughs> to said, attempt this. As you said, we are professionals. I took a few hits from a skeleton, and I'm almost dead. <laughs> but I escaped in a very professional way with two or three hearts left. <laughs> And now I'm poisoned. Why am I poisoned? Because of the spider. They're terrible. Spiders are terrible things in the yeah, world. It's just a standard spider though, it wasn't a, a, a baby spider. Hey. There is no things, there's no such thing as a standard spider. <laughs> yeah. A spider is a spider. Those things are bad for you. I know we're gonna have right. somebody commenting, What do you have against spiders? Everything. Yeah. I think like in a former life or something, I was like eaten by spiders. And the guy who just commented, we're glad. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
Still no rubber. Yeah, I'm just working on anything that I see that could be of benefit to us. I'm grabbing. Um, I'm gonna have to work my way down there. Oh uh, yeah. Good old cobblestone mystery. Plenty of chickens knocking around. Oh yeah, make sure to grab those guys. Oh, there is a obsidian looking monolith. I've seen these before, but I've no idea what they're for. Really? Oh, uh, man, if I cannot see it again, it's been a while since I've actually played. Yeah, it's just four, four blocks of obsidian in a vertical column. But I don't know what they're for. Gotcha. Uh, marble. Everybody likes marble. And uh, if you are new to Minecraft and you are taking a look at the video, uh, what I'm doing now is it's it's not really an advanced move, but if you're really new to computers, it is. What it is is you can fall off these, so you just hold down shift, and it keeps you from actually falling off. But if you're not holding shift, you go off the edge, you know, that's your own fault. <laughs> you really weren't joking when you said you were an expert. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's the show for us today. Have a great... <laughs> Lesson one. Yeah, lesson one. How not to fall. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There's a whole new spin off of a series, uh, Minecraft Myths. <laughs> I what think there's already one out there. Oh, probably somewhere. A guy called Izuma. Izuma. From the. Oh, what server was he playing on? The Hermitcraft server. Oh, that um, the likes of Generic B. He does a myth busting show. Oh, does he Minecraft. do the? Does he do the? Uh, I know there's some guys that do a uh, myth busting show for Grand Theft Auto also. Right. Yeah. What I forget what they're called. Yeah. Good show, guys. I can't, I can't even remember what you guys' name is. <laughs> okay. So we are moving. Is it raining where you are? You know, I'm inside the cave right now, so uh, I've got no participation. Or precipitation. Uh, right. A any more in incorrectly used words? Uh, I'm working on <laughs> it. Oh, precipitation is a correct word. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's not potato, it's tomato. <laughs> yeah, potato, potato. Potato. Hello, I am Mr. Potato Head. What is that? Oh, it's a bat. It was on fire. That was awesome. I've never seen a bat catch fire. Right, I have seen many different types of trees. No rubber trees. Not a not a rubber tree or a sapling. I think I'm going to have to go out a little bit further. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm slowly working my way on this uh, the edge of death. Uh, if I'm correct, if I take out these two blocks underneath me, I will fall. I will die. Well, I've got the wool that we need. Awesome. Some sheep. So it's pointless me coming back until I find rubber, isn't it? We, we can't really do anything without it. Yeah, we're going to definitely need rubber somewhere, some form, so... Um, so if you if you're bored with it now, just skip to episode 38 where we actually find the rubber, <laughs> then save yourself a, a load a load of time. That's right, and remember to hit our subscribe buttons. Yeah, definitely do that. Yep, here we go. I hear water. Don't do that to me. It's like the worst sound in Minecraft ever is the water sound. Yeah. I'm sitting in this. Ah, rubber. Oh, you found it. Yeah, but it's right. it's up a mountain. Okay. It's, uh, what's this? This is a volcano. What's that? Basalt cobblestone. Oh, yeah, basalt. Uh, it's definitely a rubber tree because of the prong on top, I think. Oh, there's a load of them. Ooh, I missed this is going to be enough. And then we'll just, I'll set up a tree farm for these when we get back, when I get back. Gotcha. Uh -uh. Right now, I am working on getting, I haven't found any tin yet. But I am, 
Yeah, shift button. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, need to go this way. I bet you've made some nice symmetrical looking tunnels though, haven't you? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I haven't got anything that we need, but the world's looking pretty good where you are. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, gaming is art. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is... You know, okay, alright, modders, if you are watching this or just happen to randomly catch the show, um, it would be really cool if you could have what you call the Q button or something. When you look at a block, you can press Q and it tells you what it is. Uh, that is a thing. That would be awesome. That is, I think that is in the um, Unleashed version of FTB. Oh. And it is a mod that I can probably add to our server if we need it, so... Okay. Because I, I was I was just thinking that I was like you know what this would be a great idea. Yeah. You know it, it's also funny too because we're also playing Starbound and uh, you could definitely check out our videos of Starbound on our YouTube channel. Just uh, go on them and uh, check them out. We're going to be playing that at the same time we're doing Minecraft because both games are amazing. They certainly are. There we go. Lots. Lovely bit of bacon. Alright, so I don't know where I am now. Let me see if we can see a nameplate. I should probably have set uh, a, waypoint. a waypoint. Yep. That's also another benefit of this uh, mod is waypoints. Oh, and when yeah, you I'm... die too, make sure you set your death waypoint. Die? You you die. If you I, die. I won't be doing any dying, don't worry about that. Right, because dying hurts. I do not die. <laughs> See, that's why I like Minecraft. It's so educational. Because when you die, you just spawn back at the starting position. Where in yeah. your life, why? You, uh, you really start back at a starting version. <laughs> oh, what was that? Hello. Okay. I thought I just, like, opened up the pits of hell in lava. And it just, like, killed me. You're going to have to tell me where home is, I think. Oh, uh, I'm dying. I don't I'm starving know. to death. Don't I'm going to have to eat a raw pork you, chop. You got our rubber, dude. We need our rubber. Yeah, die as much as you want, but make sure you get back with that rubber first. That's right. The rubber is Wh a priority. Which way is back? Uh, that way. <laughs> that way, right. You know what, okay, actually, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, F3, right? Da -da -da -da. Uh, you need to go to X248, Y36, Z313. Oh, that's I'm actually miles away. Yeah. I've got the direction anyway. Cool. I'm almost at the bottom of this uh, symmetrical cave. <laughs> Whoever designed this cave just was not thinking about the aesthetics of, uh, of art. There we go. But you've put that right. Yeah. Well, I'm taking the glow out of the uh, cave and adding the darkness to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably add some uh, torches. It might uh, brighten up the scene here. There we go. Ah, uh, so pretty. Alright, so now... Ooh, I broke it. Alright, so I'm almost down to the bottom. I'm working on that right now. What was your coords again? I'm still lost. Uh, coordinates. Uh, right now, 259 for the X. Right. Y is 35, and Z, it's a zebra, is 315. 3.15. Yeah. Right, that is the direction I need to go in. You know, I'm kind of interesting. It's like, I haven't seen any mobs at all. And I'm probably going to pay for that comment here in about 10 seconds. Oh, I've seen plenty. I see your name. But you are in a very well lit area of the, the forest, though. Yeah. Well, you're not. You're underground at the moment. Oh, I can see the house now. Gotcha. Big ugly chunk of cobblestone in the on the landscape. The blot on the landscape. I just broke my axe. No. Right. So first I need to eat. Look at this. Chest. <laughs> 
Crafting table, chest, crafting table. Like, like we need two crafting tables. Really? Well, hey, what happens if you're next to one of the, the, the chests? You don't have to walk. It's right there, man. <laughs> it's, 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 it's aesthetically symmetrical. Beautiful. Yeah, symmetrical. We'll use all these big college words. Whoa. Right, so I've got... What have I got? I've got six rubber tree saplings. Beautiful. Plant those. Uh, go after some of the uh, skellies. There's one that spawned over by us, and we'll get that oh, bone there's one marrow. right there. Yeah. But I've got no food. Um, let's cook up some chicken. I only have one chicken. I, you know what? I think that's what we need to do next. We need to go scour for food. Have you ever built a farm? Um, basic farms. Nothing yeah. really technical. We just need a farm for where uh, we can breed the animals, you know, at our location. So we don't have to go out and, and get the food. And I, I yep. think there's a device also that we could build that will automatically feed them. Really? Yes. The, the last time I, I played Feed the Beast, I had a huge looking cuckoo clock house in the sky that was up probably about 94 something levels. It was up there. It was pretty high. Completely symmetrical. Yes. No doubt. The whole house was exactly uh, even on every side. It was pretty cool. <laughs> but, <laughs> right, I, so gonna... I, but I had what you call the tool man cave in that house. Every time everybody from the server would always come to my place just to use all the, the stuff that I had. It was awesome. Yeah. So we're in the version of Minecraft where bone meal works with one hit. Yeah. I didn't know that. So we've now got three uh, fully grown rubber trees. Are we going to tap these or are we just going to... Uh, we need to tap them. And yeah. when, we, when we do tap them, um, we need to make sure that we only tap them one time. Right. If, you, if you do it twice, you'll lose it. And then we'll have to build a new one. Okay, so... By the way, I'm getting any material that I see, I am uh, trying to get everything so we have all this extra material. Well, I'm currently searching for another skeleton. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't see any on the map. No, that's because we're searching for them. Yeah. yeah. When you're not, well, <laughs> pretend like we're not searching for them. Maybe they'll just show up. Yeah. I'm just taking a wander across these plains. I really don't want to bump into any skeletons. Oh, look, there's a notch. Did it work? No. Damn. <laughs> there we go. Plenty of zombies. Zombies. Hey, that's who should have done the voice for the zombies. Sean Connery. You've got a thing about Sean Connery, haven't you? Dude, I just love his voice, man. His voice is amazing from The Rock. It's like, hello. I can't do it right now, but... Only Sean Only Connery can do it. <laughs> sounding like him, yeah. Oh, actually, speaking of The Rock, uh, my sister, uh, she works at a, uh, a restaurant here uh, in Vegas. And sure enough, last week, uh, Nicolas Cage came into her restaurant. It was really cool with her. And he came back like two days later. Nice. So she got to meet Nick Cage. And she said he was so down to earth. He was not like, you know... Uh, Super uh, celebrity style, per se. Yeah. Here comes the water. Whee. No skeletons. Nothing Not yet. one. I'm almost out of my. I think I'll come back and cook up the the rubber that I've got. Gotcha. Well, I think tin is going to be the, the thing that we're waiting on. Yeah. I think I You've just... been down that, down that hole a long time now. I'm sure you've got plenty of it. I hope so. I'm just digging like crazy. I'm not checking nothing. Dig, 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 dig. Alright, so what we'll do... Uh, stay tuned for part three of the Feed the Beast awesomeness that we're recording on here. Again, my name's Mike from The Gamer Show. And I'm another... I'm another old gamer.
and we'll be right back after all of these beautiful messages that you hear all over commercials and stuff. So click on to the next video, subscribe to us, and we'll see you next time. Yep, see you next time.